Hello and welcome to Infinity. We've been looking at the selection brush here as a way of marking out an area of the screen where, or the picture where you want to say, I want to make an adjustment, I want to change just this bit, not the whole picture. Some things are easy enough and it helps us when we go here and it's got a snap to edges so we could paint around things and it finds the edges and makes it easier for us. But there's a problem if I go up here to something like the sky which has got bits inside trees and things. But we can do something about this. So I find a sort of a medium sized brush, not too big. And I'm going to paint around the edge of this. And you can have snap to edges on or sometimes it's better not to have it on. And we just paint around all this. And generally you get, we just sort of cover the things. And notice something here with selection. If I paint quickly, look what happens. Fills it in. The speed at which you draw the brush can make it go fill in faster. So it takes that into account. He thinks he wants to just fill all this slot in. See, so you can give individual clicks. And it doesn't matter if you're going over the edge. You just want it kind of roughly around the edge. And the secret now is to click on the refine here. And generally we tend not to need much of these. Sometimes you'll use these down here, but look at what happens now. And what I'm going to do is paint over the edge between the edge and making sure I painted is covering the things I want it to, to look at. Because basically what I'm doing here is saying, please rethink this bit and look carefully at it. And look at what's happened here. I'll zoom into that for a moment. See the way it's painted, it's, it's actually selected all of these here. So control zero back out again because I want to see the whole picture. And then do it like this. Do it a bit at a time because sometimes it gets it wrong and you want to do it. Then you can do an undo and say, let's try that one again. But see, so I'm going to do this tree and I'm going to paint down into here a bit. Then stop and let go. Look there, how it select the tree. I think there's a bit in there I want to collect as well. And single clicks work quite well on things as well. So we've got another tree here to think about. Cover all the bits you want it safe. Think this about this one again. There we go. And I can, this is a relatively straightforward bit. It's just sort of a fringy edge. And this is very good, by the way, for doing things like hair. Here is particularly difficult to select, and there's bits in here. Just like, just try to rethink in here, please. See how it manages that. Yes, he's picked up the holes there, and even the post like this. For this, I'm going to make the brush small, the left square bracket, and just paint down here. There you are. Let's figure that out and uh, along. Yeah, there we go. And then, when you finish, don't forget, click and apply. And now it's got a selection of the sky. And I can do things like now I can apply an adjustment. So, for example, let's go to white balance and say let's make it more blue. And just the sky is getting bluer. And you can turn that up and you can make it more yellow. Um, a useful one with skies, skies tend to have not so much just blue in, but they also have a lot of green in. Because what you get in sky is not so much blue as cyan, which is a mixture of blue and green. So if I turn up the bloom, by the way, too far, it just looks unnatural. So you only need to go a bit to make it a little bit more. And then turn up the green and look at what happens. See, it goes like a more sky sort of colour. And, and that's it. So, you know, and then notice the difference between that's the original. And this is with it turned up. See, it's made a nice bit of bluer. We can, of course, also select and deselect that to get rid of the marching ants. And when we're done, if we click merge, it saves it back into the image again. And we could print it or we could go file. And if we start with a JPEG image, you can click on save. If you're not sure, click on export bought and make sure you've got something like the JPEG selected here and then export from here. So there we go. That's how to select the sky. You could have selected, for example, along this raggedy bit here or selecting here. That's it, and thank you very much for watching.